Monica's Christmas Adventure by Glenn Francis Failner Monica tried her best to fight the drowsiness she felt while she sat on the stairs on Christmas Eve. She waited for Santa to come down the chimney so she could meet him. But it was almost midnight and Santa hadn't arrived yet. She grew worried. She thought maybe she wasn't on his nice list. She began thinking back. She tried to remember if she had done something bad that year. But then she heard a loud thud out in the backyard. Monica's heart raced. Has Santa finally arrived, she thought. She twisted the doorknob to open the door slightly, just enough for her to peek through, just in case it wasn't Santa. She looked and saw something she didn't expect. It was a reindeer. Monica closed the door and ran upstairs to her room. It was cold outside, so she needed her jacket. Once she got her jacket, she made her way back downstairs. She was careful not to make any noise so that she wouldn't wake her parents. She opened the door again and made her way outside. She shivered as the cold wind blew. She walked towards the reindeer and then she came to a halt. The reindeer was bigger than any reindeer she had seen on the television. She was in awe of the reindeer's size. Monica moved a little closer and noticed that there was something wrong with the reindeer. The reindeer was breathing heavily. She looked around for any wounds but found none. She wasn't sure what was wrong with the reindeer. Then she remembered that every time she ran around the playground too much, she would breathe heavier than normal. Her dad would always give her a glass of water. So she ran back inside and got a bowl of water for the reindeer. Monica hurriedly went back outside with a bowl of water. She was careful not to spill any of it. She walked slowly, leaving another set of footprints on the snow. She placed the bowl near the reindeer's mouth. The reindeer moved slightly and started drinking. It only took a few moments for the reindeer to empty the bowl. Having its strength replenished, the reindeer got up. Monica took a step back and saw the reindeer tower over her. The reindeer looked mighty with its antlers. Then the reindeer bowed its head in front of her. It appeared to be a gesture of gratitude. She bowed her head in reply. The reindeer walked a few steps and then stopped. The reindeer had found something. Monica, being a little curious, checked to see what the reindeer found. She was surprised when she saw a Christmas bag full of gifts. She wanted to see whether her gift was there, so she took it all out of the bag. To her disappointment, none of the gifts were for her. It broke her heart a little. As Monica stood there with a gloomy look on her face, The reindeer slowly pushed a gift at her foot. She picked it up and saw that it was for a kid named Spencer. Puzzled by the reindeer's action, she said, This gift isn't for me. The reindeer tapped the gift Monica was holding with its nose. Again, with a puzzled look on her face, she said, What do you want me to do with it? The reindeer tapped the gift with its nose again. Monica, again puzzled by the reindeer's gesture, said, Do you want me to help you deliver all of this? The reindeer raised its head. Monica finally understood what the reindeer wanted. She hesitated for a moment, then realised that it was almost Christmas and other kids hadn't had their gifts delivered yet. It would also be hard for the reindeer to deliver the gifts on its own. OK, Mr Reindeer, I'll help you deliver all of these gifts, Monica said. Monica placed all the gifts back in the bag and carried it on her back. The reindeer then picked her up by the hood of her jacket with its mouth and slowly settled her onto its back. Wait, I don't know these kids. How are we supposed to know where to deliver them to? Monica said. The reindeer lifted its head to reassure her that she didn't need to worry. Monica decided to trust the reindeer. When the reindeer got ready to take flight, Monica noticed that the reindeer's nose started glowing. Her eyes widened when she realised who the reindeer was. Wait, are you... Before she could finish her question, the reindeer took flight and off they went. Monica was scared at the beginning of their journey. They flew through the starry sky. It was the highest she had ever been. She was afraid to look down at first. Then, when she saw how beautiful it was, all her fear simply disappeared. Rudolph made his way down and landed in front of a house. The house was filled with lights and decorations... Monica wasn't sure which gift was for the kid in that house, but before she could ask Rudolph, 
one of the gifts started to glow. She took out the gift and read that it was for Caroline. The gift then began to separate from her grasp and slowly float towards the chimney and disappear. It was the most amazing thing she had ever seen. Rudolf then took flight and they were off to another house. With every house they went to and with every gift she saw flying into the house through the chimney, her heart grew fuller and happier. She forgot about the sadness she felt when she realised that her gift hadn't come yet or may never come. All she thought about while they flew through the night sky was how they needed to deliver these gifts so that everyone could have gifts to open on Christmas morning. When they got to the last house, Monica was curious and wanted to know what would happen if she held onto the gift as it flew to the house. So when the gift started flying, Monica held onto it as hard as she could. She soared to the roof of the house as she held onto the gift tightly. They came through the chimney and landed safely inside the house. She saw the tree and walked quietly towards it. Hello. Monica was startled and immediately turned around and found a little boy standing in front of her. He was rubbing his eyes. He had just awoken from his slumber. Where's Santa? the little boy said. Monica paused for a moment to think about what to say. Santa lost one of his gift bags, so I'm delivering it for him with Rudolph, Monica said. Monica knelt down and placed the gift under the tree. Don't open your gift until Christmas morning, okay? Monica said. The little boy nodded. What's your name? Monica said. Spencer, the little boy said. Come on, Spencer, let's get you back to bed, Monica said. Monica held Spencer's hand and guided him to the stairs. She watched as he slowly made his way upstairs. When he finally disappeared, she smiled. Her heart grew a little fuller. Monica started levitating off the ground. She flew back to the chimney without her control. She went up and out and back to Rudolph safely. She glanced at the house one last time and then said, Let's go home, Rudolph. As they made their way home, Monica took the time to enjoy the view from the sky one last time. They flew through the night sky. She felt the cold wind brush her face. She laughed as she welcomed its cold touch. Rudolph landed on their front lawn. Rudolph picked Monica up by the hood of her jacket and safely settled her down on the ground. Monica turned and was surprised when she saw her parents waiting for her at the front door. She walked to them slowly with her head down. She stopped in front of them and said, I'm sorry I left the house without telling you. Monica's dad picked her up and both her parents gave her a tight hug. We were so worried about you when we checked in your room and you were gone. But someone assured us that you were okay, her mum said. Monica's dad set her down and said, There's someone here who would like to meet you. Before Monica could ask who, she heard gigantic footsteps coming from the side of the house. She turned and saw the largest man she had ever seen. The man was draped in red with a long white beard that reached up to his big round belly. It was him. It was Santa. Ho, 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 there little Monica, Santa said. Monica remained silent. She was in awe of Santa. Without intending to, Monica's eyes suddenly watered and tears started flowing down her cheeks. I heard you took care of Rudolph, Santa said. Monica nodded as she kept wiping the tears from her eyes. It seems that you also delivered my gifts for me too, Santa said. Monica nodded again, now wiping the snot coming out of her nose. Santa rubbed her head gently and said, I would like to thank you for helping me deliver my gifts. Monica stayed silent. But there's one gift I haven't had the pleasure of delivering yet, Santa said. Monica's heart raced as she heard Santa's words. She looked up and saw Santa holding a glowing gift. Santa handed the gift to her and she accepted it wholeheartedly. All of a sudden, she couldn't stop smiling. Monica gave Santa a big hug as they said their goodbyes. She stood beside her parents, holding her gift tightly in her arms as they watched Santa hop on his sleigh. Rudolph, with his glowing red nose, gave her a nod. Bye, Santa. Bye, Rudolph, Monica said. Santa flew to the sky and said, Ho, 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 as he disappeared into the night sky. Monica slept beside her parents that night, thinking that it was the best Christmas she'd ever had. The End 
Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids.